How many of you are called to be a saint? All of us. Because what is a saint? It's a person who is in heaven. And so we're all called to be there in heaven. And so we can live that to be saints on earth. And Coach Mike has, he coaches uh, his boys' baseball teams. And you know what their their uh, team name is? Saints. The Saints. Is it the San Diego Saints? San Diego Saints. San Diego Saints. So let's hear it for my brother here tonight. Nice to All right, boys. Um, so, so uh, it's so cool that Father uh, just reminded you what you were put on this planet to be. What are you put on this planet to be? A saint. A saint. Very good. First um, Corinthians chapter one verse two. First Corinthians one two. Saint Paul writes, "You are called to be a saint." All right, say it again. First Corinthians chapter one verse two says, "You are called to be a." Very good. Okay, I want to share with you guys just a quick story, and then we're going to go out and play some more baseball. All right. Okay. Do we have any? Um, do we have any 14-year-old young ladies in here? I saw a pretty little girl that's a sister of uh, one of you boys wearing a blue dress. Is she here? Where's she at? No. She's not here. Okay. I saw a little girl. Um, I saw her this morning. Give me your ears, guys. And give me your eyes. But I can't hear you. Okay, shh. I just want to speak to you guys for about two minutes, and then we'll get outside. All right? So there was a, a young girl, and her name was Laura. And Laura was born on a boat at sea. In fact, the first five years of her life were spent at sea with her mom and dad. Well, little Laura, at five years old, moved to the Netherlands with her father, who was a sailor. And her father taught her how to sail in the open ocean with no motor, no, just all she had was a sail. And at eight years old, her father gave little Laura her first boat, and she named it Guppy. Okay, Laura, at age eight, told her dad, Dad, someday I want to sail around the world. And her dad said, well, just keep dreaming. I'm, here's this little boat I'm going to give to you. And little Laura began to sail with her dad. And she had big dreams. She didn't want to just sail in a little lake. She wanted to sail around the world. So little Laura, at 14 years old, tells her dad, Dad, I'm ready. I want to, I want to be the first ever, the youngest, to circumnavigate the world on a sailboat. And her dad says, well, I'll make a deal with you. If you can make it across the English Channel, you end up in England, then I'll think about it. And, and her dad interviewed later said, well, I was kind of hoping she'd crash and she'd send off word and we'd go rescue her. And her, her big lofty dreams of Laura sailing across around the world was over. Well, Laura sailed at 14 years old from the Netherlands. A few days later, ended up across the English Channel and ended up in England. Well, at 14 years old, she didn't know, she didn't have a cell phone, so she went to the public library. And she got on a computer and emailed her dad, Dad, I'm in England, I made it here safely, can you come please get me? Well, authorities found out that a 14-year-old girl was left alone in a sailboat, and they called her dad and said, you better come get her, we're not going to let her sail back, that's illegal, you shouldn't allow your daughter at 14 years old to do what she did. So the dad said, okay, I'll come fly back and get her. Well, the dad flew back and said, okay, patted the authorities on the back. And as he's going, he said, look, I know the authorities are going to probably throw me in prison for this, but you got here by yourself, you can make it home by yourself. I'll see you back home. And he, he jumped on a plane, and she, she sailed back to the Netherlands. Well, at 14 years old, shortly after this, a little girl named Laura Decker sailed around the world by herself, circumnavigating. She made little stops to eat and drink, but she sailed, and she did something that has never been done before. And at 14 years old, imagine this little girl with his dream and doing it. Well, how did she do it? She did it because she was equipped. She was equipped. Her dad, since she was a little girl, she was born at sea. The first five years of her life, she spent at sea, seeing her daddy do it, learning the books, learning how to navigate herself in the sea. Okay, um, I, I, I know I can do it. And at eight years old, she had her first boat. What do most of us get at eight years old? 
What sacrament? The sacrament of Holy Communion, the Eucharist. So kids, when Father Burke says to you, you were put on this earth to be a... Okay, guess what? You have been equipped to be a saint. Laura Decker was born at sea. Shortly after many of us were born, we were given the waters of... Baptism. baptism. And in the waters of baptism, the gates of heaven became open for me and you. And from that time forward, we are called to be a saint. At eight years old, Laura Decker received her first boat, her sailboat. She was given a gift. What are we given, most of us around the age of eight years old? The gift of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, right? At 14 years old, Laura said, I'm going to do something that has never been done before. Around the age of 14 is when I was given the gift of confirmation. Okay, so when Father Burke says, you were put on this earth to be a saint. Guess what? You are equipped to be a saint. You young men in high school, can I speak to you? You young men, I know the world says it's okay to look at things on your computer or your tablet. It's okay to do certain things with young ladies that you may take to a dance. But what does Christ say? No, you're called to be a saint. You're called to be a gentleman. You're called to hold that gal by the hand and say, you know what? I'm going to take you to the dance. Or I'm going to take you to prom. Or I'm going to take you to the football game. But I'm going to return you to your parents a holier woman than when you left. Because we're going to pray together before our meal at the burger joint. I'm going to treat you like I would treat the Blessed Mother. That's, that's what you guys can do as young men. Um, you young boys and girls that are here at the baseball camp. You may think, ah, oh, being a saint, that's not for me. No, you can be heroic. You can do things that have never been done before. Why? Because you are equipped. You have the Holy Spirit living inside your souls through the gift of baptism. Confirmation is going to be a time where hopefully you stir, the, the Holy Spirit comes and stirs up the Holy Spirit. But every time you receive Jesus in the Eucharist, you are a Christ bearer. In, in the Holy Scriptures, it says the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay, the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, generosity, and self-control. That last one is big for us teenage boys and us men. Self-control. We can live a virtuous life. We can live a life that where eyes, our eyes are not looking at junk on our cell phones. Why? Because the third person of the Holy Trinity, the Holy Spirit, lives inside of you. You are a Christ bearer. You are called to be a saint. So what the world says can be done, we can do. Because Christ lives within us. His Holy Spirit lives within us. His body and blood lives within us every single time we receive Him in the Eucharist. So can we be saints? Yes! Why? Because we are equipped. Little Laura Decker, at 14 years old, sailed around the world and did something that has never been done before. Because she was equipped. So boys and girls, moms and dads, teenage young men, you guys are called to do heroic acts. Okay, the difference in greatness, perfection is something that we'll never achieve. Excellence and greatness is something we can achieve as Christians. I love uh, Pope Benedict XVI says, The world offers you comfort, but you were not made for comfort, you were made for greatness. Sometimes, most of the time, we settle for mediocrity, men. But God has called us to greatness, to excellence. Excellence is not perfection. Perfection is something that can only be achieved through Christ. But we can live heroic lives. We can achieve greatness. We can achieve excellence. You guys with me? Yeah. Okay. So learn a lesson today from a little girl, 14-year-old girl named Laura Decker. If you guys want to look up her story on the internet, check it out. She did something that has never been done before. What would make me proud is if one of you boys in this baseball camp or young girls does something that has never been done before. I would love to get a letter from a young boy saying, I did this because I came to your Catholic baseball camp. You are equipped to be saints. You guys with me? Yeah. All right. So praise be to God. Let's go out and have fun.